Good evening, Booktube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I'm down on the lower level. I hope this is being visible. I think this thing is too high. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to lower it. So, yeah, I, th I thought I'd make a video. It is 6.24 in the evening. It is June the 19th. It's a Sunday evening here in West Michigan. And I'm going to get right to it. I'm not going to ramble. I'm going to show you the thrift store books I've got in the last couple of weeks. Some I might have shown in a past video. I'm not absolutely sure. But I think most of these books I've not shown in a video. These are all thrift store books. Uh, I don't think there's anything new. Uh, this is all stuff I've gotten from thrift stores. So, and, uh, so here we go. I, I will show you some books that my wife got me. As you all know, I mentioned, uh, that my wife was at last month. She came back Memorial Day. She went and visited our daughter, Beth, and her family in Denver. And she bought me two books. Uh. She bought me two, two books. One was, all of a sudden I just lost it. Oh, here it is. She bought me, she was at a library and she, and she called me on the phone and said, do you have the Federalist Papers? A collection of essays written in the favor of the new constitution as agreed upon by the federal convention September 17, 1787 Hamilton, Mason and Madison and Jay. So I said I I think I had but I wasn't sure if she bought this for me. And she asked if I had this biography on Thomas Jefferson. I had it but I had dehauled it. This is by Willard Stern Randall, Thomas Jefferson, a life. So she got me that when she was in Denver at a library that had books for sale. I'm just going to show you some, another book my wife bought me. She was at some, my wife goes to thrift store the same as I do. She can't, if she sees a thrift store or goes by a thrift store, she has to go in. And she bought me this biography last week or Knights, The Knights Cross, The Life of Field Marshal Erdwin Romnell by David Fraser. I had another book by him, another biography. I can't remember what it was called, but I have it somewhere down here. But uh, she bought me this biography on the life of Field Marshal Erwin Rommel by David Fraser. Then she bought me at a thrift store a couple of weeks ago a novel by Jonathan Cole. The Middle England. I collect the novels of Jonathan Cole. And she found this at a thrift store, Middle England by Jonathan Cole. What else did she buy me that I can think of? I think that was it. Oh, I don't think there's anything else. Oh. She found this thing at a thrift store the other day. It's like a memoir, Jack Smith. I never heard of Jack Smith. Only a couple of people had this in library thing, Alive and La La Land. It's uh, like a memoir about uh, this fellow who lives in Los Angeles. It says here, Jack Smith, syndicate columnist for the Los Angeles Times has written eight previous books. Uh, says by turns and warm and witty and wonderful from the first page to last, Jack Smith offers a touching tale of recovery as he celebrates all that he calls home. As I look through this, he went to heart heart surgery or he had a bypass and I don't know, it's like a memoir. She bought this for me, my wife. So I kept it. I think that's it. I think everything else I found. 
So here we go. I found this book at a thrift store, Cicero Selected Works, new translation by Michael Grant. This is a Penguin Classics. Uh, it has in here his Against Verds, 23 Letters, Second Philippic Against Anthony on Duties on Old Age. And I found this biography on Livingston, the missionary and explorer in Africa by Tim Geel. I have another book by him in my library. I have this by the same guy, Explorers of the Nile, The Triumph and Tragedy of Great Victorian Adventure by Jim Geel. So I have this one now. And then I found this memoir of Paul Frissel or Fizzle, Fissel doing battle, the making of a skeptic, a memoir by the author of the Great War and Modern Memory, which is this book I have in my library. This is a very great book on the First World War, uh, the Great War and the Modern Memory by F Paul Fissel, winner of the National Book Award. National Book Critics Circle Award. He also wrote this book, Abroad, British Literary Traveling Between the Wars. He also wrote a book on Samuel Johnson, a little biography that I have in the back room. But this is his memoir, Paul Fissel Doing Battle, The Making of a Skeptic. So about that. And then I found uh, The Noblest Triumph, Property and Prosperity Through the Ages by Tom Bethel. Uh, it says that every day we witness the further encroachment of federal government upon our rights as property owners. What rights do we have to own and control private property, secure from the intrusion of others? What is the basis of the law that secures property for an individual? The noblest triumph, Tom Bethel, looks at the history of property rights and shows that the key role played by the institution of private property has been misunderstood by Western elites for over a century. Beginning with the ancient Greeks and arriving at the present day, Bethel looks at the basic ideas about property found in Plato, Adam Smith, Blackstone, Bitham, Marx, Mills, and others. So, look kind of interesting, so I got that. And then I picked up this biography on Columbus. Columbus, The Four Voyages by Lawrence Belgreen. I have other books by him. I've shown you uh, recently, I bought Marco Polo from Venice to Alexandria, Alexander by Lawrence Belgreen. I also have his book on Constant Castanova and on he wrote one on Capone, the gangster, and also on Irving Berlin. And he also wrote this book, uh, Over the Ed Over the Edge of the World, Magellan's Terrifying Circumnegation of the Globe. So I found another one of his, Columbus and the the Four Voyages by him, uh, author of Over the Edge of the World, which is this one. So now I have another book by him. And then I found this book, The Naked Olympics, The True Story of Ancient Games. I have another book of his in my library. Uh, I think... It's called um, Pagan Holiday on the Trail of Ancient Roman Tourists. This one now I have a, I can't find it, but this is the one I, I didn't have. The Naked Olympics by Tony Perarati, Tit, The True Story of Ancient Greece. This is by Studs Terkel, Chicago. It's a little 
little hardback, a little history of the Chicago, Illinois. He's from Chicago. It's just, I just got this because I like the old photos in it and I collect books on Chicago and it was only like, it was 90 cents. <laughs> and then I picked up this book, A Man of Misconceptions, The Life of an Eccentric in the Age of Change by John Glassy. Uh, uh, the interests of Athanasius Kircher, the legendary 17th century priest scientist, knew no bounds from optics to music to magna magmatism to medicine. He offered up inventions, theories for everything. They made him famous across Europe. His celebrated museum in Rome featured magic latern, latern, laterns, no, like laterns, speaking statues, the tale of a mermaid, a brick from the Tower of Babel. Holy Roman emperors were his patrons, popes were his friends. In his spare time, he sell, collaborated with Baroque master Bernini. So I picked that up at the store. This is a novel by Mary Gordon, The Other Side. I collect her. I didn't have this in my Mary Gordon collection. This is a novel. This is a picture of her when she was younger. This came out in... Oh, this one came out in 1989. Mary Gordon. I collect her short stories, her novels. This is a novel by Andre Brink. He wrote the novel, the Dr A Dry White Season. This is his novel, De Devil's Valley. I didn't have this one. I have the a Dry White Season by him. So I got this at the store. My wife, oh, my wife bought this for me. James and the Giant Peach by Ra Ronald Ronald Dahl. I collect him. His writings, they're more, they're like humor, kind of fantasy. My wife got this for me. She knows I co collect Ron Dahl, James and the Giant Peach. Uh, my daughter-in-law gave this book to me. She has a friend who works in the literary and publishing, How to Read Now. Uh, by Elaine Castello. I don't know what this is about. It looks like a bunch of essays on literature and reading and books. Uh, the Great Plains. This is a history. This is by Walter Prescott Webb. This is a very classic work on the Great Plains. It first was published in 1931. Uh, the Heart of Everything That Is, Untold Story of Red Cloud, an American Legend by Bob Dreary and Tom Coven. I collect books of Native Americans. I didn't ha I had this, but I think I couldn't find it, so I must have dehauled it, or I, I can't find it, but this is another one I have now from my library. I had this in paperback and I gave it to the book nook, but this is a no, uh, biography on George F. Kenyon, American Life by John Lewis Gaddis. Yeah, I had a paperback and I, I dehauled it and got rid of it when I found this copy at a thrift store. Perfect condition. Of course, for $40, I got it for, I think I got it for $2, but... I collect his uh, writings. I have his diaries, his memoirs, everything by him. He has a new biography coming out on him, George F. Kenyon, uh, sometime this year. He wrote books on the uh, the Cold War. This is uh, a history of the Republican Party, a photographic history of the GOP by Adam Smith. I'm not... I, I just like this for the photographs and the uh, I like for the old photography, the Republican Party, the history of it. I know I just like it. it's only a dollar, 
and I like old photography and uh, so I got it for a dollar. I picked this book up, How Democratic is the American Constitution by Robert A. Dahl. And Alexandria, A City and Myth by Nell Fimmerman. Can't pronounce that. It's a little slim little book, but on ancient Alexandria. These are two books on Berlin. Berlin and its culture by Ronald Taylor. I collect books on Berlin. This is really a heavy duty book. It's a Yale University Press. And I had this book in paperback, but I found a, a nice hardback, Berlin by David Clay Large. I gave my Berlin one away. This is a little memoir, a little thing by the poet Denise Leverfin. Tess, I can't pronounce it, but she was a poet. And she, I think she died in the late 90s. She was known in the 60s as a poet. And, uh, uh, I have this already, The Book of Laughter and Forgetting by Milan Kondralia, but I just like this cover. And I have this another edition. This is another translation. He was a Czech writer. This was translated out of Czech, Czechoslovakian by Michael Henry uh, Him, Helm. A picture of him in the back. These are two novels by Calvino, Difficult Loves and Invisible Cities. These are very you see these all the time on Booktube. I didn't I had Invisible Cities, another translation, another edition. I didn't have Difficult Loves by Calvino. Readings in World Christian History, Volume 1, Earliest Christianity to 1453, edited by John W. Coley, Andrea Sturk, for my Christian Church History. This is a novel by Richard Adams, who's known for Watership Down. This is his novel, The Plague Dogs, a novel by him. I collect his writings. This is uh, New Testament Studies, Constructing Jesus, Memory, Imagination, History by Dale C. Allison. I, ha I collect his, his scholarship. This is the Icelandic sagas of the as Iceland, as Icelanders, uh, a preface by John Jane Smiley. These are just excerpts from Icelandic sagas. <laughs> it, is, it was only like, you know, a dollar and I picked it up. This is by Tony Horowitz. I collect his writings. This is called Spying on the South, an Odyssey Across the American Divide. I have a whole stack of his writings over there, but this is one I didn't have in my collection by Tony Horowitz. And then I, I showed you this book by Irwin Shaw, Bread Upon the Waters, a novel. I've been reading his uh, short stories, uh, Five Decades by Irwin Shaw. So those are the thrift store books. <laughs> now I can put them away. They've been stacked over there on a, on a plastic bin for a couple weeks and I've been wanting to make a video and show you them so I can put them in their collection. Everything goes into collections. You know, there's a Tony Horowitz collection. There's a, a, a Calvino collection. Uh, I have books on Berlin. I collect books on the history of Berlin, Germany. Uh, this goes into ancient history collection. This goes into American politics. Everything goes into collections. So I thought I'd just show you these thrift store books so I can get them out of the way. It's a new week. This is Sunday, 
is 6.43 at night here in West Michigan. Tomorrow is a Monday. I volunteer at the Library Used Bookstore, the Book Nook. There's a Friends of the Library Used Book Sale next month. There's a giant used book sale on the 4th of July that my wife and I are going to go to. Lord willing, the weather holds up. I don't travel unless the weather's really nice. And so I'll be getting more books. But like I said, I'm just trying to buy books for collections. Not not get anything different. So, yeah. So I hope you're having a good reading week. That you had a good, a good weekend. Thank you for the comments. I'm still finding comments from a month ago, two months ago, six months ago, two years. I go through my comments and I try to respond to every comment. So, uh... I'll put a list of these books at the below of this video like I usually do so you can look them up. So that's about it. I'm doing okay. Um, I have been struggling with my depression. I, I don't know what it is. As you get older, maybe you just get more world weary. You just long to go to heaven and be with Jesus. But um, the Lord's giving grace. So thank you for all the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. Do pray you're all doing well. That you will have a good reading week. Uh, for all those who are fathers, happy Father's Day. Uh, I got an Amazon gift card for my oldest son, Caleb. I bought a book, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a, I, I've been really blessed to have great children, great grandchildren. Uh, uh, I have a wonderful wife. Uh, uh, I'm just really blessed with uh, a great family and people who support me and love me in spite of my failures. So once again, pray you have a good week, a good reading week, and until next time, bye.